Hi there, today we're going to cover the MD bottom navigation widget from the KVMD package. I've got an example right here on the screen so we can see what it looks like. The MD bottom navigation is this sort of uh, bottom area here which helps you change screens. So it's a standard way um, to change screens in, in material design apps. The other one is of course with the navigation drawer, the menu that slides out on the left, which I have a video on. And so basically you've got a couple tabs down here, you can have as many as you like. And this is just how you change your screens. You've got a little um, label here and an icon. And when you click it, you get a nice fade transition between your screens. Okay, so here I've just got some buttons and screen two, I also have some other buttons. All right, so let's figure out the code to make this work. First off, here I am in my project folder and I always describe what I have. Here I have my KVMD package, which I've just copied over or downloaded straight from GitHub and my main.kv file, which is empty right now and my main.py file, which is also empty. First thing we want to do for an MD app or a KVMD app is from KVMD.app import MD app. Okay. And then I'll define a new class called main app. Remember the main app is important, the name main app, because it loads the main.kv file by default. And I want to inherit from the MD app and then I'll pass. And now I'll just call main app instantiated and run it. So this will bring me just a blank screen. I'll run it right now so we can see what that looks like. There you go, my white screen. Let's go ahead and put in the MD bottom navigation widget in. All you have to do is just type MD bottom navigation inside of your KV file and we've already got it pretty much set up. An important thing to note is that the MD bottom navigation widget is basically just a screen manager. So it, it inherits from the screen manager class. So I'll say this is a fancy screen manager just so that you guys keep that in mind. And then what do you have in a screen manager class? You usually have a bunch of screens, but in KVMD, they're called MD bottom navigation item or items. Okay. So this is basically just a fancy screen. This is a fancy screen and you have to define a couple special things. First will be text. I'll call this, uh, I don't know, screen one text, whatever. And then a name, this is, you know, for any type, any, any screen in, in Kivi, you need to have the name defined. I'll call it screen one. And then the last thing we need is the icon. Icon is one of the material design icons, which you can find just right here. If you go to KiviMD and you go down to icon definitions, you can see all of the available icons like account badge outline, all of these. Okay. So you have to specify an icon. I'll just click one. It's a string. So there you go. And now I've got my first screen set up. And remember inside of a screen, you have one widget. So one widget goes here like this area, one widget. I can just have a button if I wanted, or I'll put a box layout so that I uh, show exactly what I had in the, at the start of the video. And I'll throw in like three buttons here. Okay. Now that I've got one screen finished up or one MD bottom navigation item finished up, I could copy paste this. I'll just go ahead and write it all out again because it's a little bit more informative, I think. So again, you instantiate MD bottom navigation item, which is has inherited from the screen class in KVMD, and you define some text for it. I'll call it screen two. And the name will be screen two. And the icon, I'll have this be just a plus. All right, let's run this and see what happens. You can see down here, I've got my icon defined. So this icon refers to right here, this account card details outline. The text, screen one text, is what you see right below it. There it is. And I've got my three buttons in here because that's part of my box layout that I've defined right here, right? And now the second screen or second MD bottom navigation item is right here. If I click on it, I go straight to my other screen, which I don't have any widget inside. There's no body to the screen. So there's nothing in here to do. And I can go back to my first screen. I'll throw in a little bit of a body in my second screen. So I'll call box layout again. Remember this can be anything, but it can only be one widget. You can't have like two box layouts here. That'll throw an error because the Kiwi screen class, which MD bottom navigation item inherits from, uh, only allows one child. So if you want more than one thing inside of your screen, of course you have to put something in a layout. Okay, so I'll just make three buttons as I've done up here. But instead of horizontal, I'll make the orientation to be vertical. There you go. If I run my app, I've got my buttons here as I did at the start. 
and when I switch screens, I have them in a vertical layout. Okay, last thing to do is I showed a little MD toolbar at the top because typically people like having the MD toolbar widget in their KVMD apps. To do that, we're gonna start with the box layout as our root widget instead of the MD bottom navigation widget. And then we need to, of course, indent everything here. And at the top, we're also going to put an MD toolbar. And title, I'll say like MD bottom navigation tutorial. And then we'll just give it a color, mdbg color is app.themecls.primarycolor. Okay, so now my root widget is this box layout. And then I'll have an MD toolbar that's at the top. Oh, actually, this better be vertically oriented. Okay, so an MD toolbar at the top. And then right below it will be my MD bottom navigation widget, which is a screen manager, don't forget. And all the screens inside of there as we've just coded. If I run this, you can see I've got my toolbar up here, my first screen, and when I switch, my toolbar stays where it is because only this area below the toolbar is part of the screen manager or MD bottom navigation widget. And there you go, you have it. I'll throw in one more screen just so you can see what it looks like. Maybe I'll throw in a bunch. There you go. And we better change the name of all of them. Uh, two, two, let's see, screen two, one, just something random. Screen 222. How many did I throw in here? Okay. Now if I run this, I've got a bunch of screens down here, and I can switch between all of them as I like. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful to you, and you learned something, and stay tuned for more QDMD videos.